good evening friends and uh, our today's speaker mr thawal we are delighted to stand before you um, my name is shailesh goel and i am the public relations committee chairman of ahmedabad management association on behalf of ama i welcome you mr thawal as you all know ama conducts multiple open sessions uh, management training sessions export import programs summer summer vacation programs and specialized need based and language uh, learning tools and all those kind of different different programs uh, around the year and uh, these programs are conducted very regularly every month every week and uh, the details are uploaded on the ama's works uh, the website uh, and it is continuously updated so i would request all of you to uh, continuously keep visiting our website to know the interesting programs uh, without uh, much ado i would like to introduce our uh, today's speaker mr dhawal trivedi is a very result oriented professional with the 20 years of experience uh, in sales business development key account management sales training mentoring and the business operations beside others Mr Trivedi has proven abilities in starting an entire business vertical from scratch and building a robust team. He has had significant exposure in national as well as the international business development and has traveled to numerous countries. His professional skills include training and certification of world class company to grow SMEs or MSMEs. with more than 20 years experience across the sales marketing team building and customer service he is very passionate for utilizing coaching as a tool to unlock the untapped performances in individuals as well as in the teams also for learning and spreading knowledge problem solving contribution to growth of business community so mr dhawal has developed and trained ceos managing directors chairman of companies from india malaysia indonesia sri lanka bangladesh and various south asian countries also is mba in marketing holding graduate certificate in business from the charles stuart university of sydney australia and also from victoria university melbourne so obviously he has stayed in australia for about 3 years where he got his uh, degree and he's got his first exposure to multicultural diverse business exposures and uh, he has traveled to countries like belgium france and malaysia since last 15 years he has also started dealing with world class leaders and successful entrepreneurs like you all are he is skilled at the breaking down the complex issues into simple steps and has the tools to help the his client succeed and uh, we are delighted that he'll be sharing some of these tips with all of you and i'm eager to listen to him sir so i would like to invite now mr dawal for his uh, today's uh, lecture thank you sir my pleasure to you all uh, today on the topics called the drivers of SMEs and MSMEs business growth factors and drivers so let's uh, begin little bit of uh, my background uh, of my life uh, i come from a very middle class uh, family though educated one my parents were into education and uh, quite uh, ambitious uh, and uh, though from the town background uh, i was fortunate enough to studied uh, in mba uh, australia though i still remember that uh, at a very early age of my life uh, i was just exploring that how can i uh, study overseas and that uh, dream has came into reality and then uh, i came back and worked for about 20 years into corporates in uh, india and then traveled why getting into this my father used to uh, tell me that it's always good to be your own boss at a later on stage of my uh, means uh, when he was alive so that was a kind of a seed which was uh, working out somewhere i prepared to leave my job in 2016 and then in 2017 he passed away so 
I was always wishing to empower people, which I realized when I was giving lecture at an Indus Institute uh, as a lecturer. The adrenaline start following in when I was addressing, and then I realized that this is something which I wanted to uh, do in my career. So I spent a lot of uh, money in empowering and you know get myself trained. As it is rightly said that uh, when student is ready, uh, teachers appears, and when uh, you know both our uh, work is being done, you know they are move to their own direction. So this is something exactly happened in my life as well. So at that point of time, I was not having money. Even I took a loan a bit. Uh, I didn't run away. I managed and paid as well. So I was not growing and not expanding during my corporates. And then I created kind of a system which saved me. And that is what I'm planning to share it to you today as an SME owners, MSME's owners, I have been trained, whatever content I been uh, using, it has been used by more than 80 countries um, across the world. And every month there are 30,000 business owners are using this kind of uh, things, uh, the frameworks and systems and tools. So uh, this is uh, just few glimpse of uh, I was being trained. Uh, <coughs> Okay, so here are a few of the clients and industries where I have already uh, helped them to grow their business. Uh, those include uh, engineering, banks, interior designers, doctors, IT product or services, paint companies, education institutes, real estate, e-commerce, professional caterers, air shipment couriers, Vastu, garment manufacturers, Tata Sky, designing companies, chartered accountants, and financial companies. So now I would like to ask you that why you are here. Just give answer to yourself that what brought you here. Uh, so what is the precise reason why uh, you prefer to be on uh, this premises today? So there could be uh, one question I want to ask that, uh, you know, how many of uh, you are business owners here? Okay, great. And how many are the employees? Okay, okay. So another question is that how many employers would feel like going back as an employee? Okay, okay. So, you know, I have seen uh, such scenarios where uh, many a times in a uh, big crowd, you know, many business owners who are just start up and kind of uh, beginning their journey, they are so much burned out uh, some many a times that they feel that uh, it's very tough for them to continue the way they expected is not turning out in the right manner. So, my only question is that how many of you are ready to take your business to the next levels? Of course, everybody would love, right? So, great. <clears throat> so, based on my uh, almost 20 plus years of experience, I realized that most of the business owners of irrespective of which turnover they fall into, I have identified that they have either lack of time, lack of money, or they see sometimes lack of growth. And uh, if I ask that, uh, which one is uh, your challenge? Anybody would like to say that this is what precisely I face? Yeah? Okay. It could be out of this. Uh, Presentation also, if you have something, so yeah, that that's a very common uh, challenges which has been uh, faced. And another one is uh, called the self-employment. Is I have seen it is a kind of a trap. You know, many uh, owners who just begin their journey, irrespective of even if you are uh, at a level where you have 10 to 20 years of experience as an owner, 
many times they says to me that uh, uh, hey dawal uh, i have been into business since 20 25 years what else do i need to learn now and then you know i say that especially those who are not growing or at a stagnant level i say that i agree that you have 20 25 years of experience uh, but in my term if you ask you have say one year of experience multiplied by 20 what new you have done in this 20 years what kind of a uh, drastic changes and kind of an uh, innovation you brought into your company it is most of the time a very mundane things they have been doing it all these years uh, i just wanted to ask everybody is comfortable in english right or okay thoda sa hindi mein okay okay fine so mera question ye hai ki kaun si cheez aisi hai jo business owners ko स्टक uh, करती रहती है सेल्फ एम्प्लॉयमेंट में या जहां पर है वो वहीं पे क्यों झकड़े uh, हुए हैं बिजनेस ओनर्स को तो व्हाट आई हैव आइडेंटिफाइज दैट देर आर मेन थ्री रीजंस व्हाई बिजनेस ओनर्स आर फॉल इन टू दैट ट्रैप बिकॉज ऑफ विच दे आर हैविंग दिस काइंड ऑफ विक्टिम मोड एंड वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट वन इज द बिजनेस मॉडल गैप no they have low margins slow payments and inconsistent sales this is a very typical challenge which i have seen in smes and msmes because many times when i ask them they have no clue about what are their margins how much money it has been lying in the market which they need to be collected now these are some of the small answers which is very hard to get when i sit in front of a, a ceo or even a director level individuals and it is surprising to me to those owners who are not from a very filthy rich background they are the one who started from the scratch they are the one who built from the zero and perhaps they have taken even a debt from the banks to uh, run the show it's very fatal ki aisi situation mein bhi agar wo ye cheezon pe dhyan na de to wo kafi mushkil lagta hai mujhe business owners ke point of view se next one uh, what i feel is unclear system is what is been uh, seen marketing sales ops on uh, owner efforts and intelligence you know and uh, they have no kind of an a system in place where everything runs on an autopilot mode everything is on an uh, business on your dependent to agar wo cheez nahi hai to wo predictable results nahi la payenge business mein ki next month ya next quarter mein kitna revenues aayega kitna profitability aayega kitna sales aayega it would be very tough for them to uh, predict if they are not good in uh, these aspects of business model and systems uh, next uh, i feel is that of course the heart of any organization is the team and if they are ineffective which is a lack of skill to produce results and lack of commitment these are the two part which brings the entire company either on an uh, skyrocket level or it can bring you down to the ditch so <clears throat> these three things which is pretty uh, important and why do owners go with the flow of self employment it's also another thing called the lack of clarity this is something i always begin my uh, teaching or trainings or sessions that the clarity part is something which is ज्यादातर ओनर्स का इट इज समटाइम्स दे माइट हैव थॉट सोचा हुआ होता है मगर दे नेवर बॉट इट आउट एंड ऑन अ पीस ऑफ पेपर दिस इज अनदर थिंग विच आई हैव ऑब्जर्व सो दे आर इधर ऑन एन सर्वाइवल वर्सेस ग्रोथ मोड 
सो यू हैव टू डिसाइड कि विच मोल्ड यू वॉन्ट टू प्ले इन विच जोन यू वॉन्ट टू बी इन मोस्ट ऑफ यूर टाइम नेक्स्ट लेक ऑफ कैपेबिलिटीज एज वी डिस्कस दैट सम ऑफ द प्रॉफिटेबल बिजनेस मॉडल डिजाइनिंग फंक्शनल सिस्टम्स हायरिंग डेलीगेटिंग ट्रेनिंग्स रिव्यूइंग अप्रेजिंग फायरिंग दीज आर द एच आर रिलेटेड इश्यूज बट अगेन एस्पेशली फॉर एस एम ईज मैंने देखा हुआ है कि काफ़ी देर आर लिमिटेड रिसोर्स इज दे आर हैविंग दे डोंट हैव अ डीप पॉकेट उतना उनके पास ज़्यादा सोर्स पैसे का नहीं होता तो कई बार जितने भी उनके पास रिसोर्सेज है दे ट्राई टू डू देर बेस्ट विद इन दैट पैरामीटर्स ऑनली सो हाउ टू ब्रिंग द बेस्ट आउट ऑफ द एग्जिस्टिंग एम्प्लॉयज दे आर हैविंग उसमें कई बार वो हड़बड़ा जाते हैं कि कैसे किया जाए ये मतलब दैट इज वॉट वी कॉल इट यू नो दे आर सो मच गेटिंग इन टू द ऑपरेशन दैट दे डोंट नो हाउ टू टेक इट टू द नेक्स्ट लेवल then of course the next is the lack of courage to give openly and fairly uh, to make decisions and to invest though it is uh, fairly always been uh, mentioned ki owners are main abhi uh, recently i was uh, traveling to out of gujarat and when i say that i am from ahmedabad so it was assumed that okay aapke to blood mein hi business hai and everybody is in the business so you know that is the kind of a perception uh, so what i was trying to say is that as an owner i was teaching uh, one of my client was uh, marwadi uh, family and uh, lucky to coach uh, somebody who is uh, 16 year old and somebody who is a 72 year old so wide gap in between so kai bar uh, बच्चे हैं तो बोलते हैं कि मारवाड़ी के तो खून में ही बिजनेस बसा हुआ है मीन्स एंड दैट सेवेंटी टू ईयर्स ओल्ड वॉज वेरी मच यू नो ईगर टू लर्न न्यू थिंग्स वाइल इट वॉज द अदर वे राउंड नो सो काफ़ी सारी चीज़ें हैं विच यू हैव टू लर्न अनलर्न एंड रीलर्न इन ऑर्डर टू ग्रो इरिस्पेक्टिव ऑफ वेदर यू आर ओनर और वेदर यू आर एन एम्प्लॉ और वट एवर फील्ड यू आर इन टू okay so what is something which saved me mujhe kaun si cheez ne bachaya jo har ek ke jeevan mein kuch na kuch ups and downs aate rehte hain to this is something which i believe that some kind of an autopilot system has to be there aapke bhi company mein aapko ek design karni chahiye jiski wajah se aap apne business ko ek naya आयाम दे सकते हो नई दिशा दे सकते हो तो वट इज माई बिगेस्ट लर्निंग इज लर्निंग कम फर्स्ट एंड देन यू नो अर्निंग विल फॉलो सो दिस इज वॉट आई लर्न सिंस चाइल्डहुड एंड ऑफकोर्स बींग इन टू एजुकेशन बैकग्राउंड माई पेरेंट्स वेर इन टू एजुकेशन आई हैव सीन दैट दैट एम्पावरमेंट वॉज ऑलवेज बीन गिवन to the people to the the right even if somebody was not been uh, affordable to have that it was given uh, without any cost involved as well so i strongly believe the importance of uh, learning and it has not to be stopped ye aisi cheez hai jo kabhi bhi rukni nahi chahiye hamari last breath tak tabhi ja ke hum क्योंकि अल्टीमेटली अवर अल्टीमेट नो पर्पज इज टू इवॉल्व राइट सो आई रियली बिलीव कि आप भी कर सकते हो मैंने बहुत सारे हंड्रेड्स ऑफ ओनर्स को ग्रोथ करते हुए देखा है काफ़ी मुश्किल कोरोना के टाइम से लेके अभी मैंने देखा है कि काफ़ी सारा ग्रोथ कर पाए हैं दो काफ़ी मुश्किल दौर से गुजरे थे वो लोग तो आई स्ट्रांगली बिलीव कि आप लोग भी अगर सही दिशा में सही काम जो मैं आज कुछ पॉइंट्स बता रहा हूँ उसके हिसाब से आप इफ यू फॉलो एंड इम्प्लीमेंट डेफिनेटली यू विल आल्सो रियलाइज कि यू विल सी सम साइन ऑफ अ इंक्रीज इन योर रेवेन्यू प्रॉफिट एंड क्लाइंट्स सो 
कुछ कोशिश करूंगा कि हाउ आई कैन शो यू सम ऑफ द सिस्टम्स विच इफ यू कैन अप्लाई इन योर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन यू कैन डेफिनेटली मूव इट इन द मैसिव वेल्थ एंड इवेंचुअली यू कैन रन द बिजनेस विदाउट यू तो जनरली बिजनेस सक्सेस को मैं दो तरीके से देखता हूँ एक आपका पर्सनल मास्टरी उसमें इन्वॉल्व है एंड दूसरा इज द बिजनेस मास्टरी so once the both multiplies then and only then you will be able to come out as a winner or a victor so uh, another thing that i am not a professor but i am a practitioner you know and uh, as a practitioner one who learn applies in own life and then teaches not just teach whatever i have been uh, telling you it has been implemented Uh, not only in my uh, life but also across so many uh, my uh, fellow clients and many other uh, owners who have been used and put that stamp of authenticity on it okay so once again uh, just uh, keep your uh, antenna open and uh, try to learn whatever questions you have you can always uh, write it down and we'll have it at the end of the session so as i was mentioning that uh, out of 21 years of my experience i found this formula that uh, one if they wanted to succeed they need to have the command on how they need to perform in their life and then the business systems comes later on and once they multiply or get together wo aapko ek achhi si udan de sakta hai jaise agar main analogy ek building house ke taur pe lu to personal mastery is nothing but when the glue and cements comes together which helps you to bring the entire structure at a very uh, strong uh, foundation wise so that is exactly personal mastery does for any owners there are few aspects of uh, personal masteries uh, of course the leaderships decision makings negotiation time management taking action and much more so yeah uh, once again if i ask you the question that uh, what brought you here any any one answer can you one say that what was your expectation to aapka kya soch ke aap aaye the aaj ki kya seekhne ko milega ha okay great so great great absolutely absolutely i appreciate that because uh, jo log ye jazba rakhte hain wahi जिंदगी में आगे बढ़ते हैं मेरा पर्सनली uh, मैंने कई सारे जैसे मैंने ओनर्स के साथ काम किया है तो जो काफ़ी अच्छा परफॉर्म कर रहे हैं उनके बिजनेस में तो मैंने पर्सनली देखा है कि वो इतनी छोटी छोटी चीज़ों में वो एक क्यूरियोसिटी रखते हैं एज ए ओनर्स आपको ताजुब होगा कि अगर वो इवन से टू थाउजेंड करोड़ टर्न के भी ओनर्स है फिर भी when we meet and uh, spend maybe 5 7 hours uh, with them you don't even realize ki we are uh, spending a time with somebody who is uh, handling maybe 200 250 employees and 2000 uh, turn over crores turn over so one thing is sure aap log idhar aaye hain you are here because you are not where you wanted to be that is for sure and uh, i appreciate so one as we all know ki one is point a which is our aspiration and point b which is our achievements and there is some gap in between and today probably through some of my hints i hope that i will able to feel that gap and connects the dots which you might be having कोई भी बिजनेस कभी छोटा नहीं होता मगर बिजनेस ओनर्स की जो सोच है वही कमज़ोर होती है तो रिसेंटली आज की ही मैं बात करूं तो 
बिकॉज रियल टाइम एक्सपीरियंसिस आपको अच्छी तरीके से जहन में उतरेंगे कि एक डिज़ाइनिंग uh, के ओनर्स हैं काफ़ी अच्छा इट वॉज गोइंग ऑन वेल बट देन सम हाउ ड्यू टू द कोरोना पोस्ट इफेक्ट्स एंड वेरियस अदर मार्केट कंडीशंस फ्यू थिंग्स डिडेंट वर्क द वे इट वॉज एक्सपेक्टेड एंड देन यू नो सम ऑफ द एम्प्लॉय रिलेटेड इशूज स्टार्टड हैपनिंग सो वी हैड अ वेरी डिटेल डिस्कशन आज उनके साथ हुआ था तो अल्टीमेटली मेरे को महसूस हुआ कि एक छोटा सा भी अगर बदलाव बिजनेस में आ जाता है तो द ओनर इज रियली क्वाइट वरीड सिंस लास्ट थ्री डेज तो मुझे लगता है कि आज की मेरी कॉन्वर्सेशन से मेरे को लगा कि हाँ मैं कुछ उनके जीवन में अगर बदलाव ला रहा हूँ so this is something the best part in my profession ki ek chhota sa bhi agar kuch main unko de sakta hu aur unki jeevan mein aaj main unke employees jitne bhi hai wo sabhi employees ke owners ya employees ke families ko wo run kar rahe hai so i can be a person who is ultimately helping out the entire chain of the organization so that is the kind of a satisfaction i get in doing this activities okay so this is what i was talking about ki if you are at a journey a and you wanted to go to journey b you need to move aapko badlav lane ki zarurat hai tabhi ja ke aap jahan par pahunchna chahte ho pahunch sakoge i always say one thing that if you are uh, continuously doing the same thing you were been doing earlier you will end up getting the same results as you have been getting so if you want the higher or different results change your learning change your decisions and ultimately it will change your results so of course uh, बिजनेस इज नथिंग बट लाइक अ काइंड ऑफ अ व्हील्स जैसे वो आरे होते हैं स्पोक हम बोलते हैं तो ऐसे ही हमें बिजनेसिस में भी काफ़ी सारे अलग अलग डिफरेंट्स स्पोक्स आ देर सो अगर आपको ग्रोथ करना है बिजनेस में तो यू डेफिनेटली हैव टू मेक ऑल द स्पोक वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग तभी जाके आपका ग्रोथ होगा एक्सपेंशन होगा और स्मूथली चलेगा ऐसा नहीं है कि आप चलो बिजनेस चला रहे हो मगर यू आर गेटिंग इवन लेसर देन व्हाट यू हैव बीन गेटिंग एज एन एम्प्लॉय सो देर इज नो पॉइंट गेटिंग इन ऑल दिस हैसल सो ऑल राइट सो दीज आर फ्यू ऑफ द स्टेजेस ऑफ अ बिजनेस सो वन हैज टू रियली अंडरस्टैंड वेर यू फॉल एंड वेदर इट्स अ स्ट्रगल सर्वाइवल स्टेबिलिटी सक्सेस और स्केल and uh, nobody but you only can uh, judge yourself that how you should be able to perform and grow and where you are lacking and uh, how you should be able to do it it seems like a very simple but uh, let me tell you uh, that these are the steps sometimes i have seen my fellow coaches are taking even 5 years or more to reach from struggle to scale no so that doesn't sounds it sounds easy maybe appears easy but it is not you need some hand holding in the journey in order to grow okay so there are few spokes as i mentioned uh, which is very much necessary in a business okay uh, and the first one is of course the marketing where the business uh, begins and uh, the goal of the marketing is nothing but to generate leads and uh, most of the time i have observed that it is happening luck by chance ki aaj humne itna spend kiya hai social media mein but we are never know what would be the outcome of that uh, spending some of my clients are spending even 5 lakh rupees a month but if i ask that what is the roi then they are clueless what are the things which is working so this is exactly where uh, you need the coach and why you should uh, have this kind of uh, you know assistance 
So the thing is in marketing you need to do consistently. It is not something like you are doing it today and then probably after a month or a quarter you are doing it again. Whatever you decide, whatever cycle you want to uh, follow, you stick to it and do consistently. It's a kind of a math. Marketing is nothing but a math. You need to identify which one is doing correct, right and you know, working absolutely well in your business in your geographies. So of course the uh, FB and the LinkedIn is something which uh, resolves Zadatar 50 persons aapke jo challenges hai wo resolves kar dete hai aisa ek uh, scenario observe kiya hai hamne. So why uh, FB because uh, lot of penetrations are uh, being seen in this particular social media a lot of people across the world are spending a lot of time in this and uh, you know it is uh, advisable that uh, if you want to reach to the bigger mass it is always good to be online so in a simple manner if you are not online your entire business will go offline and as we all know ki din prati din agar hum dekhe to online users ki jo population hai wo badhti chali ja rahi hai aur jaise hi 5g introduce hoga india mein of course uh, it is in the verge to launch the entire uh, game plan of the communication the way business and the the way you know the entire uh, activity happens on, on the internet will def definitely have a see change so main purpose kya hota hai advertising social media ka ek either you wanted to do a, your brand awareness or you wanted to reach or increase your leads these are some of the two uh, fundamental reasons why companies spend a lot of uh, money on uh, social media and of course there are few considerations like traffic and engagements and messages these are all the part of the game and of course the conversions how much conversions has happened ye sab cheeze kai baar maine observe ye cheez kiya hai ki jo matlab senior generations hai they are very much aloof though they are very good with accessing the social media but they are not uh, competent enough to digest that how to use the social media for their own benefit and the young generations don't have much time being in into because they are having so many other things to do even if they are managing the business so this is the reason why you need to spend either you agar aap koi experts ko hire kijiye ye sab cheeze karne mein aur uska aap regularly reporting lijiye ki kya ho raha hai that is quite necessary because nobody is perfect in everything and you shouldn't be so this is one thing i have uh, observed of course in marketing uh, the another reason make people or clients your fan create content community aap generate kijiye ad copy ko bar bar test karwate rahiye kya kaun sa ad copy acha aapke hisab se काम कर रहा है हर एक जियोग्राफी में हर एक कैंपेन्स में हर एक प्रोडक्ट्स में इट वुड बी अ डिफरेंट एड कॉपी विच विल वर्क सो यू नीड टू डिसाइड दैट एंड ऑफ कोर्स देर आर लॉट ऑफ अदर थिंग्स इन टू मार्केटिंग नेक्स्ट इज द सेल्स ऑफ कोर्स द बेसिक जो फंक्शंस है सेल्स का वो ऑफ कोर्स इट्स टू रेवेन्यू जनरेशन एंड देर आर फ्यू रीजन्स वाई सेल्स काफ़ी लो रहता है ओनर्स का एक तो द स्पोक जो हमने डिस्कस किया सेल्स और मार्केटिंग का वो इफेक्टिव नहीं होता वो कनेक्टेड नहीं होता थ्रेड द मार्केटिंग एंड सेल्स आर द काइंड ऑफ टू अलाइंड फंक्शंस सो दे डू सेल्स एज एंड व्हेन यू नो दे नीड द कैश फ्लोज दे आर नॉट वेरी मच फोकस ऑन सेल्स ऑन अ रेगुलर बेसिस जब भी जरूरत होती है कैश फ्लोज की दे गिव अटेंशन टू सेल्स जैसे हम वो एक गार्डन में वी हैव दैट प्ले ना वी गो अप एंड डाउन सो वेन एवर दे नीड सेल्स दे जस्ट पुश्ड 
a little bit hard then they focus on the delivery then once they come into delivery again the swing goes down of the sales so they keep on playing like this and they can't justify dono mein se kisi ko bhi sahi tarike se attention nahi de pate especially smes msmes ki baat kar raha hu to again difference kya hai marketing aur sales mein so marketing is nothing but uh, it is grabbing the attention of uh, the clients as we know the uh, add value establish credibility ज्यादातर ओनर्स मेरे को बोलते हैं कि हम इतने ज्यादा स्पेंड करने के बावजूद भी वी आर नॉट गेटिंग एनी रिजल्ट्स आउट ऑफ मार्केटिंग तो तब मेरे को समझाना पड़ता है कि इट इज अ काइंड ऑफ एन इन्वेस्टमेंट व्हिच मे और मे नॉट गिव यू इमीडिएट रिजल्ट्स लाइक यू टर्न ऑन द स्विच एंड ऑन द अनदर सेकेंड यू विल गेट द लाइट बल्ब ऑन इट डजेंट वर्क दैट वे आपको कुछ टाइम तक कंसिस्टेंटली इन्वेस्ट करना पड़ेगा तभी जाके आप उसका रिजल्ट्स ले पाओगे ऑफ कोर्स इन दू सेल्स सेम वे देर आर लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स लाइक हैंडल ऑब्जेक्शन ऑफर्स निगोशिएशन क्लोज द डील दिस इज द हार्ट ऑफ एनी बिजनेस सेल्स नेक्स्ट इज ऑफ कोर्स द ऑपरेशन द मेन फंक्शन क्या है कि आपको वैल्यू देनी है जो मनी आपके क्लाइंट्स ने दिए है आपको उसके अगेंस्ट में एंड कस्टमर्स खुश कैसे रहे वो देखना है ऑपरेशन में कोई भी आप प्रोडक्ट और सर्विस डिलीवर कर रहे हो सेल्स ऑपरेशन में ज्यादातर मेरा ऑब्जर्वेशन रहा है कि फायर फाइटिंग मोड पे ही ज्यादातर बिजनेस ओनर्स आर स्पेंडिंग दैट टाइम पूरे आठ घंटे अगर वो प्लांट पे या ऑफिस पे रहते हैं तो मेरा ऐसा एक्सपीरियंस है कि दे इवन समाइम्स डोंट रियलाइज दैट वॉट विल गोना बी देर शेड्यूल टूमोरो जैसे ही वो प्लांट पे ऑफिस पे दे टच द कैबिन आफ्टर एन आवर कौन कैबिन में आ जाएगा क्या इश्यूज लेके आएगा दे आर अन कम्प्लीटली अन अवेयर एंड दे जस्ट रिस्पॉन्ड वो एवर कम्स टू देम एंड दैट्स हाउ देर डेज पास इज विच इज नॉट द राइट प्रैक्टिस सो ऑफकोर्स देर आर राइट मैनर्स विच यू नीड टू फॉलो so proper sales plan multiple sales funnels detailed sales process presentations uh, scripts conversion rate has to be good enough these are things is very much required in order to perform and get the best out of sales zyada tar kai bar owners bolte hai ki chalo hamara jo day to day expenses hai wo hi abhi to filhal nikal jaye wahi hamara goal hai which is the worst thing to hear from them don't uh, get into that trap ever you get what you uh, desire or expect or vision next uh, operation se fir r&d hota hai to r&d mein kya hai ki naya naya you have to continuously think that what are the new product and service has to be introduced into the market even if it is performing very well हो सकता है कि आप जो अभी काम कर रहे हो वो परफेक्टली एक्सेप्टेड है मार्केट में सेल्स भी हो रहा है मगर अगर वो स्टेगनेंट भी है देन आल्सो यू नीड टू वरी अ बिट दैट व्हाई इट इज अन स्टेगनेंट मोड इट हैज टू बी स्लाइटली अपवर्ड्स इन ऑर्डर टू गेट इन टू द स्केल मोड सो यस देन आर एंड डीज मेन पर्पज इज कि यू हैव टू understand the customers needs and create new products and service constantly aur hamare paas bahut sare examples hai jaise apple ne nayi nayi kafi sari achhi products launch kiye market mein kafi invest kiya hai r&d mein aur they are charging premiums their margins are very high we have seen it and even now also nobody is uh, beating them and uh, you have seen the companies like nokia you have seen uh, kodak these all companies have not invested much into the r&d and we have seen the results of those companies now they are completely out of the map of course next is uh, the accounts and mis a uh, very much crucial data accuracies uh, legal compliances and the 
future insights is the goal of uh, this particular uh, department and uh, this is the heart again account is also been uh, used by uh, all the departments and it is interconnected to all the departments so one has to be very much strong uh, one advice i wanted to give to everyone that please uh, be sure that how much things are happening on a monthly or quarterly basis focus on those zyada tar owners mere ko bolte hain ki jab main poochta hu ki kitna last month turnover hai kitna profitability hai they always say ki wo to mere ceo ko malum hoga to business wo kar rahe hain ab aap kar rahe hain aap unko paisa de rahe ho aur ya wo aapko paisa de rahe hain so this is very surprising ki aap utne uljhe hue wo operations mein ki aapko kitna paisa aa raha hai ja raha hai kitna munafa ho raha hai wo cheez bhi aap ke paas time nahi hai samajhne ka so this is a really a tragedy sometimes i feel ki uh, next of course the hr smes mein hr ke kafi challenges hai uh, especially corona ke baad uh, market kafi uh, furious hai employees matlab it's tough to get the right employees those who are there they are not uh, staying back for a longer duration aur jo hai wo perform kar rahe hain nahi kar rahe so we need to see lot of this uh, alignment needs to be happen into the companies so as it is mentioned ke pehle to aapko right people aapko hire karna hai fir make sure that they are performing in the right manner the way it has uh, and of course then uh, they should be also feeling uh, in the appropriate zone they should also feel happy then and only then uh, they will perform so whether their aptitude is appropriate whether their uh, skill is all right or uh, whether their knowledge is uh, good or bad or up to the mark or not wo aapko analysis continuously karna padega tabhi ja ke aap उसको सही डायरेक्शन दे पाओगे कई बार उनका नॉलेज होता है मगर एटीट्यूड नहीं होता है कई बार स्किल्स होती है मगर यू नो एटीट्यूड मिसिंग है सो यू नीड टू वर्क आउट ऑन ऑल दिस थ्री पैरामीटर्स सो डोंट बी जस्ट एन ऑर्डिनरी बिजनेस ओनर्स लाइक इट इज राइटली सेट कि धक्का मार ऑपरेटर पसीना पसीना मतलब ज़्यादातर बिजनेस ओनर्स इतने थके हुए होते हैं पूरा महीना दिन आठ आठ मेरा एक सवाल होता है तो 50 आवर्स आर द मिनिमम दे स्पेंड वीकली ऑन देयर बिजनेस सो इट्स अराउंड सेवन टू एट आवर्स इन अ डे रफली एंड सम आर आल्सो गोइंग ऑन संडेज एंड दे आस्क मी वेदर यू कैन कम ऑन संडेज एंड आई से पोलाइटली नो so this is something which uh, really surprises me that you know being in at the first end aapka purpose kya tha owner banne ka ki aapko ek financial freedom mile ek time ki freedom mile usi ka purpose tha aur wohi aap bhul ke aise zone mein ja rahe ho ki employee bhi nahi kar raha hai utna kaam aap kar rahe ho despite of you are having plethora of employees so this is pathetic नेक्स्ट इज ऑफ कोर्स द लीगल एंड कंप्लाइंस काफी सारी चीजें हैं इसमें ज्यादा डिटेल्स में नहीं जाऊ मगर जहां पर भी आप बिजनेस कर रहे हो एक्सपोर्ट्स है तो यू हैव टू लर्न द लॉ ऑफ द लैंड ऑफ कोर्स इन इंडिया देर आर डिफरेंट स्टेट्स हैज अ डिफरेंट लॉज यू नीड टू बी वेरी मच अवेयर कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एग्रीमेंट्स एमओ यूज दीज आर द थिंग्स यू मस्ट नीड विच इज अगेन ए वेरी ग्रे एरियाज which i have found things are just happening at a geo paradise way though they are having uh, hundreds of employees hundreds of vendors suppliers contractors partners but you know things are not the way it has to be so if the audit comes you need to be very much aware ki kon kon si areas aap ke companies mein missing hai जो ज्यादातर उनको मालूम ही नहीं होता है कि ऐसा भी करना चाहिए 
forget about the uh, account parts, forget about operation, HR, so many compliances are there in legal, which one has to know. And the last part is, of course, the management, which is uh, the, the first role of a management is uh, company ko ek disha dikhana, wo ek owners ka management ka kaam hai. Wo kahi baar, wo jo race, red race mein kahi pe gum ho jata hai. Maybe shuru shuru mein shayad wo bana liya hota hai. Kahi baar, maine observe kiya hai, unka jo goal hai wo company ki websites mein to kahi pe likha hua hai. Magar if I ask what is it, and they just scratch their head. Wo malum nahi hai utna. To abhi employees ko to kahan se malum hoga. So it should be in their blood. Then only then you can pass it on to your employees. It's kind of an energy which you uh, give it back. Uh, you know, everything is energy and energy is everything as we know. So if you as an owner are uh, vigilant or vibrant, if your company's goal is to live in a right way, then how can you expect your employee to give return to you? who is earning hardly like 20, 30, 40, 50 K in a month, which is way lesser than probably you are getting. You must be a role model to them. Then and only then they will perform the best. So, aap kaha par ho abhi, kaha jana chaate ho, kaise jaoge, wo sab sawal is part of this. Of course, the building capabilities, uh, these are also the part of the thing. Uh, sorry to mention, but kai bar Andheri Nagri jaisi situation I have seen ki jaisi government uh, ka culture, though the turnover is maybe 20 crore, their inventory is uh, about maybe 3-4 crores lying in the store. So, and they have taken loans from the banks. It's, so, you know, the thing is, you know, as an owner, sometimes you have to, n like, not jack of all trade, but, um, and master of none, but hum kehte hai ki, aapko at least kuch kuch jo core parameters hai, unke upar to nazar rakhni hi padegi, tabhi ja ke aap survive kar paoge. Forget about thrive. Main survive ki baat kar raha hoon abhi. So, yes, uh, uh, these are some of the tips for all the areas, marketing, sales, operation, you have to be proactive, consistent, strategic, you have to uh, drive from structures done for growth, uh, your team has to be competent enough in research and development, the focus has to be on identifying new uh, services and products, focus on revenues, customers, don't just, uh, another thing I have realized is that some businesses are only references. When I know that some years ago, they are just working on references. So, how can you survive and live your uh, life on your existing customers? It doesn't work on a longer run. So, yes, uh, I'm just sharing some of the practical uh, challenges and things which is uh, not right. Accounts, of course, uh, consistency honi chahiye, uh, reports kafi honi chahiye, thik tarike se, uh, data driven decisions, agar ERP bhi laga hua hai aapki companies mein, then also I have observed that uh, there are a lot of uh, mismatch. ERP ke kuch alag numbers hai, and real numbers is totally different, which I have seen. So, there is no point in having and spending 7, 8 lakh rupees uh, into the ERPs if you are not making the use of it. Legal and management, of course. So, these are some of the things. So, one thing I want definitely to share ki agar aap job pe achhe the, if you have done well in your job, it doesn't mm, right, uh, prove to be right that you will be doing good in your business also. Business is a totally different ball game altogether and one has to be very, very vigilant and alive. So if you have no systems, no proper team, no planning and if you are continuously using the old methods of marketing, 
then the things won't work the way you expect so yes kai bar business owners maine dekha hai ki they don't have a time for anything as i just mentioned ki they sometimes ask ki main sunday ko hi thoda free time de pata hu uske alawa to i am fully packed so this is uh, and despite of giving this much of time efforts money and energy at the end of the day if we see their balance sheet it is not the way it has to be so my question is that you no know, there is something is wrong which they need to analyze and realize so kyun uh, businesses uh, get stuck you know so many times it is ups downs it is not happening the way it has to be few months are doing good and the recessions uh, is there corona is there sometimes festivities is there so they don't know despite of doing uh, doing business since more than two decades ke which seasons are giving their best returns and which are not you know so these are the things they must be aware of so you need to continuously adopt in order to grow aapko continuously badlav lana hai you as a jaise maine bataya ki even if you are performing on a stagnant level stable level you are getting the sales every month on month still you have to spend time ki why it is stagnant why it is not growing so uh, yeah so one uh, just success story i want to say that uh, one company i was working with were quite youngsters um, business uh, owners and managing directors they started with hardly maybe uh, one cr or less and within uh, almost one one and a half year it has been reached to now 7 8 cr so uh, this is the power of uh, you know the right system and frameworks into the place so yeah so just a few of the guidelines i'll quickly share one is uh, impossible is a lie you know never assume that anything is impossible if you really feel that i want to make change and shift in my business definitely you can be able to do it um and uh, yeah there are two level of learning one is experience and another one is expert so i say many a times that either you spend your time or you spend your money but if you spend your time it is very dangerous zone aap matlab malum nahi ki kab aapka jo decisions or goal hai wahan pahunchoge so it's wise always to have somebody who is helping you out who is performing day in and day out this activity okay so build a pipeline in your business is the another one as the uh, i think time is uh, limited so uh, i won't get into it but uh, quickly if i ask that agar koi bahut purani baat hai ki koi ek cheez chal rahi hoti hai ek gaon mein aur ye he was trying to build uh, the 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 family tanks from the river and uh, wo ye ek silsila ye ek tradition chal rahi hai nobody knows ki uske alawa bhi kuch possible hai ki nahi then all of a sudden ek banda bahar se aata hai aur bolta hai kare aap aise hi kaam karte ho why don't you uh, bring a one pipeline and connect from the river to the home and then uh, all of a sudden you know chaos hota hai and uh, thoda oppose hota hai fir jat ke everybody start realizing the importance of it to kehne ka matlab hai ki you have to see ki how can you install that pipeline in your house how can you you know have this kind of a new ideas new stories new changes in your organizations so ultimately ek hi cheez hai ki move away from a person centric to more of the system centric kai baar suna hoga aapne kehne ke liye bahut easy hai implement it is lohe ke chane jitna hi tough hai 
मगर आई एम श्योर कि अगर आप कंसिस्टेंटली अप्लाई करोगे तो डेफिनेटली यू विल बी एबल टू गेट दी रिजल्ट्स तो क्वेश्चन यही है कि वेदर चॉइस इज योर्स वेदर यू वांट टू कैरी ये बकेट ऑन अ रेगुलरली बेसिस ऑफ बाय होल्डिंग इट अप और आप खुद का एक पाइपलाइन भी बनाना चाहोगे सो यस क्रिएटिंग योर सिस्टम्स बिल्ड अ टीम एंड दिस इज वेरी मच इम्पॉर्टेंट टीम का होना सिस्टम्स का होना काफ़ी मायने रखता है बिजनेस डिजाइंस भी होनी चाहिए सो so, अभी तक हमने सीखा कि क्या करना चाहिए कैसे करना चाहिए इज समथिंग वेरी टफ समटाइम्स इट टेक्स इयर्स फाइव इयर्स टू टीच यू हैंड होल्ड यू हाउ टू टेक यू टू द नेक्स्ट लेवल सो बस वो शुड लर्न द हाउ you have to learn it in the right manner as we know to get the success you have to do it in the mahendra singh dhoni way you know and uh, vision jaise humne pehle bataya and main batana chahta hu ki i was not always like this you know i was also been uh, struggling and uh, having my own ups and downs in life so now you know same way from nobody to somebody from good to great from broke to successful you know you also can be able to definitely do it if you really determine the way you want to reach aap bhi kar sakte ho usme so ye kuch hai bahut sari industries mein aap ye sab use kar rahe ho koi limit nahi hai kahan par aap use kar sakte ho you can use create a system centric uh, business massive wealth and self sustaining so i think uh, last part uh, and principles power of association i'll main kai bar bolta hu ki you are the average of uh, five people you spend most of your time with to wahi cheez hai and uh, last part find a coach if you feel uh, you need some assistance and uh, jaise we all know uh, there is a one saying in sanskrit ke guru gobind dono khade kisko lagu paaye balihari guru aapki jo gobind ko dikhaye so even in spirituality even you need uh, to find a teacher if you wanted to realize the god so this is the materialistic world to usme to aapko koi na koi teacher ki zarurat zarur padegi tiger wood jo us ke ek uh, golf player hai usne bhi bola hai ki no matter how big you good then you cannot do it all alone by yourself so yeah and uh, i do offer quickly one to one business coaching team training and group coaching reach thank you thank you so much sir it has been wonderful listening to you and the tips are very practical and i can uh, i'm sure most of us can relate with our everyday everyday business challenges also so on behalf of uh, amdabad management association i thank you once again and we would like to conclude our session today as i said there is a feedback form i would request if you can put uh, suggestions because that helps us bringing more and more uh, useful uh, talks and the leaders from the businesses to uh, all of all of you at your service